G'day, my name is Chris Mouflard and I'm a project engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner Video Training Series Level 1. Recapping using the LBS Manager and defining the bounding box and splitting floors. The aim of this vignette is to recap on the LBS Manager, show you how to adjust the bounding box and teach you how to split the project by floors. It is assumed that you've watched the Cost Planner video training series, especially level 6, and that you have loaded and activated your models. With your project opened and your models activated, we can define locations two ways. Right-click the navigation bar to open your Vico Office utilities. You can use LBS Manager independently, however the best workflow for scheduling exists in Schedule Planner. Head to level 3 to define locations. The importance of an LBS is to break the quantity in work into locations. These definable work areas form the building blocks of location-based scheduling. In the event that the bounding box does not fit over the model, we need to redefine its coordinates. When the bounding box does not encompass all the model elements, this could be because the first model activated was a substructure. As this was defined first, the bounding box extent did not encompass the second model which was loaded. Right-click at the project level and select Set Bounding Box Coordinates. Best to use the Derive Coordinates from 3D View function, otherwise you can manually enter them. Click OK to continue. With the bounding box set, we can see we have five floor locations. Again, by right-clicking over the project level, we need to floor split to break the project by floors. Click on the green node to expand the project hierarchy. We can now enter names for each of the project floors by either right clicking and selecting rename and hitting enter when you're finished or by double clicking over the level. Because the architectural content may not suit the construction content, we will need to define the elevations manually. You can do this by double clicking in the elevations column and entering the correct elevation height. As you can see, there's now a warning symbol. This is because we need to refresh the model. I suggest creating a custom view to manage the model function to refresh quickly. Start by left clicking in the tab view and selecting the single pane. Head to the quick navigation and select the model manager function. Right click and create takeoff items again. When we check back with the LBS manager and break down the project hierarchy, we can note that the warning symbols are now gone. Right click on any floor split and select isolate. We can see that it appears on its own in the 3D view. In this video we recapped and reviewed the LBS manager as well as we split the project by floors and became familiar with the bounding box.